Hello, everybody. We are in 1 Corinthians 7 today, and we're going to look at verse 24. Verse 24 says this, Each person should remain with God in whatever situation he was called. Now, he's going to go into that section and more. But what's interesting about that statement is the verses that surround it. Paul talks about marriage, being faithful and staying faithful to your marriage, satisfying your spouse's needs. That is the job of a marriage partner, to satisfy your spouse's needs, not their wants, but their needs and supporting each other. And he talks about staying single if you can. Like if you're single and you feel called to be single, you need to stay single. Don't feel pressured to be married. Don't feel like you have to. Or if you're, if you're married to an unbeliever, you need to stay faithful to that marriage as long as that unbeliever will stay faithful to you. And then, most importantly, he says, stay focused on the Lord first. Now, if you're wrestling with some decision, it typically goes back to this verse. That's the struggle that Diana and I had about going into ministry. We, we thought maybe this verse in this section was really saying that I needed to be faithful to the career calling he'd already given me and not move to ministry. Or we needed to be faithful to our church in Ohio, not move to start a church somewhere else. Or maybe God was saying to us, you need to be faithful to the things I've already given you now and not worry about what might be in the future. Some of us struggle with decisions about moving or about changing careers or about, about making a life choice, a life decision that's different. And God might tell you to stay faithful. So then how do you deal with this verse? Well, here's the thing. He's calling us to keep his commands. Keeping the Lord's commands is what counts. That's what he says later. Keeping the Lord's commands is what really matters. So you stay faithful and obedient to the Lord's commands, and he will take care of the rest of that. When Diane and I were wrestling with this, we, we just stay, stuck with it, started doing the work. I started going to some classes, but not knowing where God was taking us. And then we had this Pensacola experience. God sent a man into our lives to give us the promises of God out of Leviticus 26, and that was our confirmation that, yes, he was actually calling us to ministry. And then lots of stories after that to prove that it was true. You've been called to a life with Christ. Stay faithful and committed to that calling. Whatever that takes, whatever it requires, you stay faithful to your calling to Christ. If you're married, stay faithful to that marriage. Whatever it takes, whatever it requires from you, you stay faithful to that marriage. If your partner doesn't, that's between them and God. You stay faithful. If you're a parent, You've been called to the greatest responsibility of all, to parent a child into an adult. Stay faithful to that calling. If you've got a career, you're living in a community, stay faithful to the work God's called you to do in that community or in that career. Stay faithful to the duty he's given you. And when he wants to change it, he will tell you. <laughs> Staying faithful is more important than success. Stay faithful. And watch what God does when he works through you. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.